Being at a place like this, you're really able to move the field in any direction that you want. The questions I like to ask are really aligning with those of the Institute. So how do we remember things? How do our circuits work together in order to produce really high level functions like memory and learning? I'm Jay Bucket. I'm a PhD student here at SWC. My PhD project revolves around recording from rodents continuously in 24-7 settings, basically engaging in naturalistic uh, behavior. My name is Nicole Vissos and I'm a second year PhD student. Basically, I study how one particular part of the brain is involved in our response to predators. I'm Emmett, I'm a fourth year PhD student. Yeah, I'm working on a, on a really exciting project where we're trying to work out how the brain learns sequences of, of movements. My name is Sara Nozahi, I'm a first year PhD student at the Sensory Welcome Center. I'm interested in how sensory circuits change and evolve during learning and how our higher order brain areas might be involved in those changes. What attracted me most to the SWC was you're constantly interacting with a diverse set of people, whether it be culturally or scientifically. I think that's the best way to have stimulating conversations and a strong interchange of ideas. It's much more relaxed than places in the U.S. in terms of like the research culture. It's a lot of fun and people work really hard, but it's also very chilled out and there's never, yeah, me personally, I've never felt stress here. In SWC, there are a lot of great scientists together. I think everyone is very hardworking and very motivated to solve the questions they're working on. But despite everyone being so busy, actually, if you ask them for some help, they will be happy to help you. Something really cool at the beginning of the program is this is boot camp where we get to build our own robots and we start thinking about like how we design an intelligent system. I had like known these techniques before, but it was more like showing how accessible they are. And I think beforehand I would have I would have thought it would take me months to like, you know, get a working 2P rig or like be able to set up a NeuroPixels experiment. But I realized if you're working with people who've done this stuff before, and a lot of people at the SWC have, you can get these things set up in a few weeks. You can get like a really kind of deep understanding of, of how the tech works, such that you can like incorporate it into your own experiments. In the boot camp, what became apparent early on is that no matter what skills you have, you can really use the tools and the resources around you in the building in order to accomplish anything that you want. I think for me, the, the funnest part, it's the interactions with people. I'll always be talking to someone at some point during the day. And I think like when we're bouncing ideas off each other about yeah analysis or the next type of arena to build, these conversations are, are a lot of fun. I think what makes me happy is like when you see a clear effect during the experiment itself. So for example, when I record the brain activity or when you manipulate their activity and suddenly you see a big change in behavior. It turns out that one of the biggest factors in learning a, a motor sequence is sleep. So we have an experiment where we want to see if we can uh, record activity in the brain when the mouse is awake, and then again as, as well when the animal is asleep, and see if we can find similar patterns of activity. And it's a huge challenge both experimentally, and that's more my kind of area of expertise, but also computationally because it's a huge amount of data and it's very complex data and hard to, to analyze. So normally I would be kind of stuck, but what's really nice is that we have the, the Gatsby Institute, well not even next door, but inside the building. It's basically full of computational geniuses who are excited about the brain and have a whole different skill set. And it allows us to go after bigger questions and try uh, even cooler experiments. Other things that are very different is I think the facilities that the SWC has. We have a microscopy core and they're very willing to help you with like looking at your brains and how to analyze them. 
and we have a viral vector core, so they actually make the viruses in this building themselves. So I think there are a lot of great facilities that help you in your experiments and research. It has the, the fab lab, which is this uh, fabrication suite down in the basement. Uh, especially at the start of my PhD, when I was building um, experimental setups, they were it was super helpful to have them there. They're um, absolute experts, uh, makers and, and designers down there. Um, and there's great resources down there for, for building a custom-made experimental equipment. I love living in London. <laughs> I think the best thing about uh, London is that there's nothing that you want that you won't find in the city. So whether it be the food or the art and the music, it's um, outside of the PhD. There's really everything anyone could ask for in a city um, and building a community becomes really easy in that way. One favorite thing, probably just how much there is to do in London. It's like a much bigger city than any place I've lived in before, but it's also very easy to travel to places. So I'm a big fan of like gardens and like outdoor spaces. So I'm a member at Kew Gardens actually. And then I love going to like the Heath or Regent's Park or Victoria or St. James. Parks and outdoor spaces has been like a huge, a huge draw for me. London has so many different boroughs and each borough has a different atmosphere. So sometimes when I walk around or travel around London, it just feels like I'm in a totally different country, which I feel like is great. Being at a place like this, you're really able to move the field in any direction that you want. And so having such rich neuroscience in London has really given me the opportunity that when I finish my PhD, I'll have really endless choices of the different directions and things I want to pursue moving forward. Thank you.